In this video, let's create an intro. We're going to use some of the custom animations. So what we're going to build in this video is this. Let me just open it in a detached canvas. Play. Just a sample business. We're going to see how we can build this in this video. All the assets that I've used in this video, I will provide them by the time you're watching this video, I will have uploaded the assets. What we have here, this is the audio. This, these are the files that you're going to use in the actual video. So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to start from scratch. So I'm going to start a new project. Save, no. I'm going to drag in everything that I need for this tutorial. I will need this. Here in the sample logo, I will need all this. I'll just put them in there. So the logo itself looks like this. The logo for the business looks like this. And you can build this however you want, but I just want to create a simple one so that I don't have to create a very long video. So we're going to start with the first element and I will drag in the main logo item. And you can see that it has sized it into the size of the image and the background is also not working well with that. So I will come here and I will go into project settings and I want to create a video or an intro that is 1080p. You can do 4K or whichever value you want to do, but I'm going to do 1080p and I'm also going to change the background to be white. And then I will apply. So let me fit that and I won't have to resize that. I'll just use it as it is. And I want my full video to be about 10 seconds, about 10 seconds. That should do it. For the animations, we're going to add them one at a time. I'm going to add the first one for this. After this, I'm going to add the next ones and so on and so forth. Let's go to animations and you can drag in a custom animation into any video or any media element on your timeline. Let me just expand that. If I double click on it, the head signifies where this is going to end up. So I want it to end up there. And then the tail, the tail signifies where this is going to begin. So I want it to begin outside of the video. So of course I don't want it to be that long, but just to have a look at what to expect like that, but I don't want it to be that long. So I'm just going to drag it down so that the animation is shorter. All right. That's the first bit. All right. That's the first bit. The next bit, let's go to media and we're going to add this. And of course, I want to add it as soon as this one is finished. We want it to be added as well. I'm going to go back to animations. I will drag down a custom animation. And as for the animation, I want it to end up here. So it will end up there. And we want it to begin. So wherever you want it to begin, just click on the animation and then bring this to the tail of the animation. And then we want it to start from the top. So I can push the animation back like that. And if I play it, it's going to come down like that. Now the last one for the logo, we want to add the other media item and the other media item was business. I'm going to add business after this animation and this one as well. I want it to come from the top down here. Let us add an animation. Animation. So the animation, the way it works here on the tail, this is where you tell it where the animation should begin. And then on the head, the head right there, when it's red like that, this is where the animation will end up. So I want it to end up here. Eventually, I want it to end up here with that error. And then we're going to correct that. But I want it to begin uh, from outside of the video from the top. So I want it to come from the top down. So let me select that 
and I want it to come from the top, preview. I can preview it like that, but I want it to come from the very start of the very start of this. So just from the start, you see, that's how it is now. Of course, there's an error, so let's rectify it using an animation as well. That is, of course, what you need to do. So I'm going to bring this up to 10. I'll just drag these images out until they reach 10 seconds because I don't want this to be longer than 10 seconds. You can make it shorter if you don't like long introductions. As soon as it gets here, we want to rectify it and we're going to start by rectifying this one. I will add another custom animation here. I will select, I'll just double click on that animation and I want to bring this one back. And when it comes back, I hope that will be enough space right there. And then I don't want it to be that long. So as soon as it gets there, that one is already rectified. And then now we want to rectify a sample. I'll just bring another animation there. And I don't want it to be too long as well. If I double click on it, it will take me to the head. And the head is where we want it to end up. And I want it to end up here like that and the next element we want to rectify is that now for that as well we're going to add an animation and i'm just going to make it shorter double click on its head so that it ends up there so just from the start okay that is done just from the start Okay, that is done. And there's something else that I remember I added. This was spinning. So if you want this to spin, we can just add an animation there. Select it. And then we're going to drag the animation down. And if you want it to spin, just double click on it. And on this end, you see these elements. This can make it spin. This will make it spin like that. Anti-clockwise or clockwise. And this can make it spin in the y-axis so if you want it to spin anyway you can make it spin for instance if you want it to spin like that it can spin like that if you want it to spin like that it can spin like that so just do that and it will clear that i want mine to spin continuously so i'm just going to and i don't want it to spin too fast so i'll make it spin for that number of degrees and i'll just span this one out all the way until the end of the video and when i do that what happens is it's going to continue spinning slowly just like that but you can see that it's speeding up so if it's speeding up like that just right click on it and you can enable easing and there are different types of easings that you can do here but i want to do linear and linear is going to make sure that it eases continuously without having to speed up at any point okay and then for this ones as well let's see how this animation happens so the animation that happens here we can try and make it bounce this animation enable easing let's make it bounce and see how that looks easing easing is how it ends the animation how does it end it Let's see how this one is going to work. So that's much better. I prefer that. The bounce. Yeah, like that. And you can actually start the spinning as soon as it gets there. So if you want anything else to spin, you can make it spin if you want to. Right, so that is done. Now the next thing... We're going to group this. If you want to do any animation for all these three together, you can group them. I'm just grouping them for better animation, better presentation, I mean. If you want to group them, once you select them, you can just right click and then click on group or you can just do control G or you can do whichever option you're given here if you're on a Mac. So if you click on it there, I can give it a name. Let's just call it logo. And I can close it. 
Now the next things I want to add are the the social media icons or oh, the social media we have I only have this and this and you can add more if you want to. I'm going to say that I want my animation to end up I want my animation to end up there. This one as well. You can match the sizes using the yellow lines. Let me animate this before I add the art. So this animation start with Facebook. I will add a custom animation and I want it to end up there. But I do want it to start from somewhere else. So where do I get this? Let me just take it outside and I can copy the same animation and paste it paste it here on this one control V and I can select the animation above and the animation below so you can see that the image of course that's not what I want at this point let's take youtube all the way just double click on the animation and then i can drag youtube a little bit further and when i do that you'll see that the animation is different So I need to change the entry point for this. There we go. So they'll just come in together. They'll just come in together and then they will split at the end. And of course, I want to change this into Let's make this linear and this one as well, linear, so that they can go at the same pace. There we go. The next thing is I want to add the final animation and that will come from this side and that is art sample business. And for that, I can just use an annotation. I will use a textual, a text based annotation. Control Z, I don't want any, any kind of spinning on that. I'm just going to do art simple business. I will select the entire thing and then I will change the font. I can use the same font as the ones that I used. Of course, I will expand that. Put it at the center with this and for that as well. I want to add an animation so I will add the animation, bring that in there. And then of course we want it to end up there. So we just need to change the starting point of the animation. And for it, I want it to start from the outside of the video. So I'm going to bring this just like that. And I can just leave it like that. Nothing fancy that should do it. And what else should I add here? Is there anything else that was in the original? Okay, so you can space these things however you want. You know how to work with Camtasia at this point. So you can just space this out. And of course, we don't want them to go out like that. We want it to fade out. So I'm just going to use one of these already made animations. Let's see if there's one I can use. No opacity. I'm going to use that. I'm going to take that there. So I'm going to reduce the size and then I'm going to copy it. Control C and I will. Let me just bring this up a little bit. Control to select that control to select that control press control to select that one as well. And then I will bring the cursor all the way out and then I'll do control V 
So I don't know why it went there, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to delete this one. And then I'll press control on my Windows keyboard. And then I will select, select, select. And I can move all of this to the very end of the video. So when they end, they ease out. When they end, it doesn't end abruptly. All right, so let's add the music that I'd used. I can just come in here into the library and I will go, if you're not already here, just come to Camtasia library, Camtasia 2021 or whichever version you're using. And I use something to do with the piano. Okay, that's the one. I can bring that there. I want to cut it somewhere there. So I'll select it and I'll just press S on my keyboard. And S is going to split it. So I can delete the other end. I can also reduce this one down further. It doesn't have to be that loud. And then up to this point, I'll just double click there. I'll double click there. I will double click there and I can use this to fade out somehow. You can also use fade out here from the audio effects. There's a fade out, but I want to do it from here. There's another video there's another audio that i just recorded and you can you can use your audio as well i want to use the last bit of this audio and once you get it you can just listen to it Just a sample business. Sample business. Okay, that's pretty much it for this intro. Just a sample business. You can extract this as a video or you can save it as an asset in your Camtasia. So if you want to save it as an asset in Camtasia, just do Control A to select everything. If you are on a Mac, Command A, that should do it. And then I'm just going to do group or you can do control g or command g and you can give it a name if you double click on it you can give it a name and let's just call this intro you can just use the animation and your creativity to come up with a very wonderful intro for yourself and this video should take you in the right direction so once you change the name if you want to save it once you save it you can do control shift a or you can just right click and when you right click you can add to library and you can give it a name we can call it intro video and you can choose where you want to store it you want to store it in default or you want to store it somewhere else you can use canvas size or use a visible size but of course we changed the canvas size to 1080p so if you used a different canvas size then you can go back and edit it appropriately so once you select where you want to store the library, you can do OK. If I open another project, new project, or let's say save, I can save this as Camtasia intro. Let's say that I open another video that I've worked on, recent projects. And now if I come here under library and I go to defaults, you'll see it here. And I can add it at the end of my video. So if I go all the way to the end, let's get started editing this project in the next section. Okay, you see now, Just a sample basic. you see that now it doesn't have the background. This is why it is 
best to add a background in a manual manner because when you change the project when you change it through the project settings you'll notice that it has a, it doesn't have a background it can be put on any background any background color if you want the, the background to be always white when you're editing the project come here under uh, annotations and then add a white background manually your video will always have that background okay your i mean your intro will always have that background let's get started editing this project in the next section so of course when you do that remove the text just a sample business so that's how you can create an intro and you can go further with this use it to make yours even better than mine that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to let me know